Hello Sagittarius, it's my lady from A Lady's Way Tarot, and I'm coming to do your weekly reading for the week of August 14th through the 21st, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid Cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. So I'm already sensing that somebody has some kind of a, um, I think some kind of work-love relationship. And I feel like... I feel like there's some backstabbing by people who you thought were your friends there. All right. All right. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. And I don't know what I said already. So let's get this show on the road. Let's go on. What's going on for Sagittarius? What's in the week for Sagittarius for the week of August 14th through the 21st, 2017? Sagittarius. 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 It is hot outside today, guys. Okay, so overall, somebody's trying to find some inner peace, inner healing, inner strength. Okay, cleansing themselves from negativity. Mm. So this is a short while. Let's see what caused this. Uh, sorry, off to the side a little bit. What's what's this? All right. So, I'm feeling like somebody, okay, you could be trying, trying to overlook stuff to help strengthen yourself. So, maybe some of you are trying to, like, strengthen your tolerance for craziness or ignor ignorance. All right, let's see. What's been going on for a short while for the late Sagittarius, Sagittarius? What's the Sagittarius love reading? What are they trying to? Strengthen their self with. Mm. So, seems like somebody trying to strengthen their self to, I, I don't know if to get over or to um, be able to protect their self from uh, an arrogant um, person. This could be at work or this could be at a relationship, but. I mean, whatever it is, it's just for a short while. And I feel like somebody's trying to build their thick skin to deal with this person. They're trying to overlook this situation. But with me, I feel like that kind of stuff shouldn't be overlooked. Because if it is, you know, it just gets stronger and stronger, you know. Ooh, I feel like this needs to be fought. The, the way to get away with this is to um, go straight at it. Don't run away. Act like it didn't happen. None of that. All right, so... Um, if this is a relationship, this probably is like, I feel like this to me, I feel like it's a whole lot going on with exes. And if this is a work situation, maybe somebody is secretly, um, trying to make you mad so they can get somebody else in your place. Somebody that they already know. So I feel like somebody is trying to, um, piss y'all off to get y'all to leave so that they can put somebody else there. Work or relationship. So, oh, this is the part that sucks, and this is the pride part why you're trying to overlook it. Whatever you're doing, you really care about this thing. Like, if you really, it might be the person or it might be the job, you really care about this situation, and that's why you're trying to overlook it. But sometimes, I'm just getting the feeling like this is one thing you should fight about because once you go down, it's hard to get back up in a job or like um, in a relationship, you know? You beat yourself down to the point. Like, you're trying to, whew, <laughs> you're trying to, like, get stronger by ignoring, but you get stronger by going at stuff, you know? Getting stronger by ignoring it is not going to do anything but build up your uh, tolerance for BS, which is going to make you weaker, you know? Most people don't see it that way, but I do. Yeah, no, 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 no nonsense. So, um, the actualizing card is like... It's like, I don't know, I feel like this is just the, you trying to see, you see what's wrong and you trying to see a way to, to deal with it. 
Like maybe you're figuring out this acting like you don't see it and acting like it ain't as hard as harsh as it is isn't working. Maybe that's what actualizing is. All right. Now I'm getting ready to read the Cleo cards. So I'm feeling like there were like, sorry, positions or um, presents offered to you from this boss or this um, uh, partner that weren't received. So somebody's dream selling. Okay. All right. What's going on? What's going on with the Sagittarius? Sagittarius, what are we? 8, 14. Through the 21st, 2017. What's going on for the Sagittarius? Sagittarius. Oh. So, it's, yeah. It seemed like you got everything you need to do your job or to be with this person. But this person just not understanding you. Yep. This, this might be work, you guys. Unless it's a third-party situation you're trying to look over. Hmm. Okay, so judgment. So I don't know. In this situation, I don't feel like you're gonna come out at the end. But it's a general reading. Any anybody in this situation could be you. Um, but let's get to reading. So we got the three of coins first. Three of coins is reversed. It says this is a card that indicates silly workplace rivalry and boredom with your position. So, mm, this could be you bored or somebody could be bored with you there. And they're like, okay, next. All right, so now we got the sun reversed. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, the sun doesn't want to come out. Come out and play. All right, we're going to skip the sun right now. Okay, we found it. So, sun reversed. Um... A time for absolute joy and peace, happiness. You look at life as a gift full of future fortune. Um, so many good things approach. Everything you touch will lead to success and ultimate success. So this makes me feel like whether you, whatever part of this situation you are, you're going to end up exactly where you need to be. You know, it won't be... What you want, you I know you love this job or this person or whatever, but it's going to put you somewhere that you, you need to be, you know? It's like you're not, it's not letting you stay in your old ways. And this is like he, the death card reverses like you fighting for that change not to happen. But let's read the death card. All right, the death card is reversed. So it says lack of direction and desire to remain in a bad situation. Yeah, you want to sit there and although it you love it, it's like the whole negative surrounding about it. You you trying to make yourself numb to the situation, numb to the situation, and that's just gonna make it worse. You know uh, that I I mean in my opinion I feel like that leads to depression. So then we have the judgment reversed. Judgment, judgment, judgment. All right. Um, sometimes, um, there's a legal judgment or sentence and final decision. So it's basically like whatever this situation is, um, fate is in play here. So there's nothing you can do to stop it. So all I can say is, uh, get ready cause it's about to go down. Other than that, that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful week.